Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm super excited to show you a brand new mod or a brand new feature to a mod that's been around for quite a while now. So this is all about the map editor mod today. So the whole entire day will be dedicated to checking out the new map editor mod features. Uh, the short story is you can spawn in objects into Skater XL and skate them. So you can kind of create your own custom spots in Skater XL. But that's not the new feature. That's been around for quite a while. The new thing is the fact that you can load stuff into the game and save them and come back to them in the future. And this this is absolutely huge. This is massive. This is something that I've been wanting to see in the game for a long, long time. Basically, with the map editor mod, you can spawn in objects, rails, ledges, random objects in the game, and you can basically just skate them. And there's also DLC packs too that we'll get into. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna actually show you guys every single object that you can spawn in with the map editor and what you can do with them. So I'm gonna press F5. This is the map editor beta by Dog Vinci. I want to run through what you can do with this stuff. So there actually is a menu. So if you if you click your right stick, there is a menu just kind of like how the camera menu or replay menu has. If you go through these one by one, it'll teach you how to move objects. So if you need help uh, moving stuff or rotating objects, check out this little menu and it'll help you figure stuff out. So just click the right stick down and that'll pop up there. But what we'll do today, I want to show you what you can spawn in. We'll go through everything. So let me get some space over here. The parking lot. We got ledges, props rails splines ramps uh, i got some test stuff i'm not sure what that is coming soon other we've got some dlc packs so concrete barrier all right got a concrete barrier got a concrete bench got a worn bench got a concrete barrier got curved marble ledge that one's sick this one's a beast or marble ledge man rhyme box i think this is a wooden one i like this one a lot the wooden box concrete bench damn i haven't used this one in a while percy barrier i've never even heard of this one okay i, th I think it's supposed to be called jersey barrier i'm, I'm assuming that the hersey is a, a typo <laughs> old park bench concrete bench too eon bench clean and a park bench you can actually stretch them too you can make them really long if you want to make objects really long or really fat or really tall or whatever or really small you can do that you can make mega ramps you can make mini ramps those are all the ledges let's keep going let's go through props we got lights we got work light small you can change the lighting conditions and stuff there's a light that'll beam i don't know what you want that for you can just simply place it down and grind away rusty barrel rusty barrel bent rusty pillar get the rusty trombone no nah, i'm just kidding I'm just kidding so we've got all these rusty things we got some stone that's a lot of stone man like a brick rubble okay this, these are a bunch of you know, like just unanimous objects that you can place around to make stuff look cool concrete rubble Jeez, that is a fat pile of rubble parking block we got broken bollard whatever whatever that is some sort of rock object destruction rubble i'm pretty sure that's the same thing as this rubble sharp cliff you can you can literally spawn in a sharp cliff <laughs> like actually a cliff and if i did this like all day long i can make like a, a fully enclosed like skate park you know uh what else we got center block mossy rock assembly sharp cliff number two same size just different shapes chiseled rock i was expecting Dwayne the rock johnson to come out but no it's actually a chiseled rock park in black we got some fallen pine actual broken tree i wonder if this is spline i don't think it is maybe it is i don't know let's see if we can grind this thing okay mossy branch oh yeah the cliffs the trees the rock piles whatever make it look more realistic and stuff got some leaves we can put, put a tree down put some leaves at the bottom you know we got a little weed in the sidewalk that if you, you really want to get down and dirty like you know find a crack place a little tiny thing in it a little tiny there you go look at that uh let's get to some more stuff go back to some more skating stuff so we got rails there's artsy rail that actually is an artsy rail that's pretty sick got flat rail pole jam barrier uh but that is a different rail you got like a half rainbow pyramid rail that one's sick it's like an a-frame kind of on a diy rail i can't select that one again for some reason i don't know why i can't click it kinked rail that one seems hard to skate <laughs> rainbow rail oh baby that's what i'm talking about look at this thing damn oh up, 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 up. come on no come on Come on, come on, come on. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Are you gonna gonna do it? Let's try to put the nose down right there and then, hey! Okay, it worked. Ah, 
Oh, that was kind of sick. Look what we got so far. What the heck is this? Double rainbow rail. Okay. Kinked M rail. What the hell? Wave rail. That one seems pretty fun. Keep in mind these dimensions can change. You can make them wide. You can make them like this. You can make them long. Make them short, skinny. Whatever you want this to be, you can change the shape of every object. On like a manhole or a sewer grate gap or whatever. Modular vert. So it's a vert ramp. And this is where it gets pretty sick. It's kind of weird how you move it. The texture moves around. Make it wide. Make it long. Basically make a half pipe. So I could just duplicate that as as possible. And there's your little half pipe. Just uh, spawn a little half pipe in the middle of the parking lot of my local park. Not sure how well it's going to skate. I didn't really plan out the dimensions of this thing, but... Not bad. A little steep. <laughs> a little steep, a little close to each other. DIY concrete ramp. That is sick. It's like poured concrete, modular vert corner. Okay, look at that, baby. Look at this. But yeah, you can make um, a pretty sick bowl, I'm assuming, with that, if you really spend time with it. Quarter pipe wood, got a large kicker, modular vert extension, baby. Look at that. You can you can really go crazy by making your own bowl in this game. Coming soon, not sure what those are. Kicker, another little kicker. This mod is, uh, is still a work in progress, guys. So there's a lot more stuff coming to this mod modular vert corner but yeah you can you can make like really cool stuff like that that was not a good uh, example but anyway bike rack cali broken table just launch off that thing got a forklift probably my favorite object in the map editor because you can actually change the forks you can use this little thing over here the fork position to, to change the fork position grab like the grind box and you can place the grind box on the on this something like that this is not a good looking kicker, but I think that's enough angle to get me up there. It's off the ground and not looking good, but let me just try to get up there. Go off this thing. Hey! Oh! Baby, yo! How about a hard flip no slide? Like a nice hard trick. Wait, what? That almost, was almost perfect. Oh, one more try? One more try. Three tries to get this nice hard flip. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Cali bench. So there's one more bench. I beam, which is close to the rusty beam. Cali table. So this one's like a full size table. Uh, roadblock. Through. I missed all the wood. There's wood pallet. There's some plywood. So you can use the wood to make walls, roofs, uh, floors, different sizes for whatever reason. Wood chopping block. That's like what? What is that? Like a log? Uh, wooden beam. I guess it's just a worn version of that and a wooden block and it's just the wooden block that's it camera oh we do have the cameraman still i, f I didn't know that was this was still in here if you film like a fisheye angle and a long lens angle you can have like the camera guy in the background to make it look like look like there's two filmers um safety cone you know just to keep the cameraman safe looking good we got a whole tire shipping container that's blocking a lot of sun you got a whole shipping container for whatever you guys want traffic cone Camera tripod VX. Sometimes I'll place like the cameraman on the object that I'm gonna skate and a VX camera in the distance. So when I get two different angles of a clip, you'll see like a camera and you'll see the cameraman. So it kind of looks like the footage that you're filming are coming from these objects. Like they, they can be used as props, right? So just use these at, at your will. Uh, shopping cart, trash can, a bale, okay. Dumpster, we got skateboard stack, which is three decks high and just like stack more decks, I guess. Damn, look at that skateboard stack, baby. Woo! Highest alley challenge. Oh, uh, come on. Oh! Oh! I'm the best. I'm the best. What are we doing, guys? What is this? is a circus out here. This is an absolute circus. Look at all these objects. We haven't even got to the new feature yet, guys. I'm just showing you the map editor mod. We haven't got to the new stuff. I'll show you what you can do, okay? I'm going to keep going with a few more things because look at this. There's actually DLC packs. Other people can now model their own objects and load them to DogVinci's server and you can download them. So essentially, Dog has the map editor beta and mod in place. Now all he needs is people to make more objects so you can add it as DLC packs. So STPN has a Spawnables Pack 1. This is the very first DLC for the map editor mod. And these are uh, his objects that he's modeled. So there's like the, the tire here. This one's super sick because this one's a slappy curb. It's blind, ready to go, and you can actually 
right into it and just grind it like a slappy. It's, it's super sick. I like this curb a lot. And that's it. That is every single object that you can spawn with the map editor mod currently. These are all the objects that you have. Right? Um, the most exciting part that I want to get into next is this. This has been around for a while. But every time you leave the map, all your objects would be deleted. And when you come back to the map, nothing would ever be there. Nothing would ever save. The new thing, the new feature of this mod is the fact that you can save all of this and come back to it at any time. And this is what I'm going to do. I press save load, click save, and it's going to automatically add the name of the park too. Because if I if I load in the assets at a different park, it'll be in the same like same arrangement, but it, it will be all over the place. It won't match up with the park. So make sure that you load in the objects at the park that you save them at. And what I can do now that I have that save file is actually leave the map. Uh, let's just change really quick. So I'm going to go back to P Tech Skate Park. I'm back where I just came from, and I look back behind me, and nothing is here. Okay. This is how the map editor mod used to work. You used to place objects down, skate them for a little bit. When you leave, you could never come back to them. So it kind of limits your ability to be creative because you could spend hours and hours setting stuff up and it could never save. Now what you would do is press the F5 button. You click this, you go into your save and load folder. You click Tech Skate Park. There's, there is all of my objects. And this is absolutely massive guys. This means if you have a flat piece of ground or a skate park or whatever you want to do with the map editor mod, you can essentially spawn whatever you want in, create a custom map in the game or custom or like kind of edit the map in the game. Come back to that exact map. That's crazy. These are only the beginning objects that you have to work with. I I'm super excited for more DLC packs to be added because this is crazy. Just think what you can do. Now that we have this, you're going to be seeing a lot more stuff in the coming videos. And in just in the future of Skate XL, you'll be seeing a ton of stuff using all of these objects. And I hope that this video helped you guys out, give you some insight to what you can do. So keep in mind, all these objects can be scaled smaller, bigger, wider, taller, whatever. All right, guys. Well, that's basically it. I didn't really have anything to really do for you guys. Like, I'm not going to skate too much. Maybe I can sit around for a little bit and get creative with a map editor mod. So one thing that people like do is make mega ramps and long rails i think I, i'll try to make a loop or something how about we try to make a loop it's not bad looking okay this is gonna be a massive loop i don't know if i can actually make this that's that's a pretty rough landing maybe maybe one more after this he's gonna, he's gonna jump right off the end here and then we're gonna land over here <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen here guys how am i gonna make that Okay, I need to make a massive ramp now. All right, so ramps, massive piece of plywood. That would cost a fortune at Home Depot. All right, then come over here. Wonder what kind of tree this came from. I don't know, what am I doing? Here it comes. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so I'm at the top. Oh my God. Something tells me I shouldn't be up here. Yo, okay, here we go. We're going for the dropping, guys. Oh, buddy. Oh. <laughs> that was so bad. I think we need to change some things. Coming in way too hot. That's looking all right. Let's try this. Definitely going faster now, but with less uh, impact. Whoa! Let's uh, start up a little bit closer and see if I actually get around with less speed. What? A little bit weird though. I don't know why it's not working. I just fell off the ramp there. I just need to come back around the other side. Almost had it, guys. Oh, what am I hitting? It's so hard to control where he's going when he's in the loop, though. Wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, my legs went all crazy. Oh, what? And I grinded down, dude? All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh! No way!
Oh, <laughs> that was so good. Full loop made with a map editor mod. I, I can save this and come back to it. You know, it's it's wild, dude. You can you can make like a huge like Hot Wheels racetrack if you wanted to. Spend forever doing this, like whatever you want to do. This is a huge huge mod for PC that is still in beta. Um, I'll leave a link below to where you can find it and stuff. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It'll really help my channel out a lot. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a nice day. And I will see you next time. Peace.